good morning. Let's see if I can prop. Oops. Ooh. Uh, so it is the morning of December 14th, 2021. And tomorrow is our official move in date. Um, for the house that we're moving into. Um, so that's when like all of your furniture and the big day, basically, that's, that's the big day. But I am getting the keys later this afternoon from the landlord so I can start moving things in. Um, so my car is almost fully packed with as much as I could get in there. And I just have a couple more bags that I'm going to bring. And I'm going to try and do two full car loads today, if I can get that in. But it's going to be a process. I hate moving, and I've moved in the past. So when did we move? 2018. In the past three years, I've moved four or five times. So... It's a lot. It's <laughs> so annoying. Anyways, um, that's the state of things right now. My room is even worse. Um, my closet's empty, so that's something. I just accidentally scratched myself. I'm stressed about moving my PC and desk and all that stuff. I'm stressed about actually because Josh's dad is the one that's going to be moving our stuff. So I don't, <laughs> he's never even seen the apartment. Like he's never been in here when it's looked nice and clean and had like real furniture. And he's going to come in, it's going to be so dirty and gross because obviously there's going to be more dirt to accumulate. And um, after we're done moving stuff out, so I'm not going to like mop or sweep the floors or anything. But I might have to because it's gross. I don't want him to see that. But um, I'm literally just like, what time is it? It's only like 9 a.m. And I've already packed up all of my dishes. I have cleaned out my shower. I had a bath and everything. So I got all of that done so that I could clean it after. I cleaned out all of my bathroom stuff like everything on top of my counters and underneath everything for my bathrooms all packed up um and I em emptied the rest of this thing because it had like movies and video games and different shit so I got all that out And I just feel like there's there's nothing else I can really do right now because I've used all of my boxes, so I need to just move them. Um, and mainly, it's just furniture and cleaning now that needs to be done. So, uh, there's just so much to do today. Like, I... This is really shaky and annoying. Oops. I got, um, I have some paperwork stuff that I have to do for one of my <laughs> many jobs. Um, and then I have an order that somebody made for jewelry. So I have to go ship that. So, and the post offices right now because of Christmas time are insane. So really hope that that's an easy process. I have to pick up flea treatment for Percy because um, I didn't really, I think I gave him one treatment just because he's an only child. He doesn't go outside. He, there isn't really a way for him to get any, like I've kept an eye on him and everything. But um, because of that, there's not as much of a risk so I don't need to treat him as often. But now I'm going to have to treat him regularly because he's going to be living with Banks. Banks is a dog that can go outside and get those things. And because Percy has feline AIDS, he's very susceptible to illnesses. And he's a sensitive boy, so I really need to protect him as much as I can. 
So I need to pick up the flea treatment before Banks moves in with us. And I'm nervous about that process too. They met each other for the first time a couple weeks ago. I brought Percy over to Josh's house and um, had them try and warm up to each other. Banks had a muzzle on and he was held back. But anyways, um, it was hard because that's not Percy's territory. And then if Banks came here, it would be Percy's territory, not Banks. So it's like they need to be in some neutral ground. And because Percy can't go outside, we kind of basically just have to wait until we move in to adjust them to each other. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I planned on washing like these blankets that have a bunch of Percy hair on it. But I'm going to give those to Josh to put around Banks in the next coming days so that he can like get adjusted to his smell and be like, who's this? And then uh, Banks isn't going to be moving in for a few days to let Percy adjust to the house first. And then he'll come in and we'll slowly adjust them then. We have rooms to separate them. So <sighs> I'm just really nervous because like when we leave them alone in the house, I'm afraid we're going to have to lock Banks up in a room. But... Hopefully they become best friends because I really, I want Percy to have a best friend. I'm going to show the disaster that is my bedroom. <laughs> so, with all that shit, just garbage everywhere, Christmas presents everywhere. This is my <clears throat> sad little closet and bathroom. <clears throat> God, this is going to be so embarrassing. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Well, it's time to get some cleaning supplies out. And I still have a full pantry to deal with, which is super duper fun. I'm in, <laughs> I'm in our house. I got our keys. Oh my God, this is so weird. But I officially got our keys and I feel oh, <laughs> one of Josh's shirts is in the driveway because it fell out of the bag. Anyways, I'm moving stuff in right now and I'm about to unpack the microwave. We have, oh, interesting, I just noticed those lights. Um, we have a heat pump, and so she turned it on, showed me how to work it and stuff, um, and left it on, and it's actually very hot in here, so works well, but I'm so excited to show, I kind of want to, before it gets messy with boxes, just do like a little tour so that I can see it see how it looked when I first moved in. So we're gonna start in the entryway. So as you come in, there's a little little entryway. This is gonna be our shoe rack and coat rack thing. And then this is like obviously a coat closet, but we're actually gonna use it as a pantry because we're gonna have that coat rack. Um, and then, yeah. This right here is supposed to be the master bedroom because it's the only one that has a closet inside the room. But this is gonna be our spare bedroom. So we're gonna have a bed back there or something. Oh, I have a Harry Potter tattoo. And then, ooh, I can do, <gasps> this is fun. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna have probably my bookshelves and my crafting table is gonna go here, I think because this is gonna be the guest room, but all my crafting stuff's gonna go in here. So this is a kitchen, obviously, in all its glory. We have an island, so that's nice. This is the bathroom. Um, I didn't, I forgot that there's no shelves in the shower, but I actually love the subway tile, so I don't have a problem with that, but we're gonna have to buy stuff to put there. And then, this is a bathroom. Um, first load of stuff I've dropped off and 
This is my basket that I had on the toilet in my apartment, so it seemed fitting. And there's lots of storage here, which is nice. And then we're gonna go out. This is the dining area. Bar stools are gonna go there. And this is the living room. Um, and I think our TV's gonna go there. Couch against this wall. Maybe have some storage along that wall. This is um, a door that we're probably never gonna use. So it's locked. And this is our stairs. Oh my God, my place has stairs. It's so exciting. They kept the carpet on and we're okay with that because banks would fall down the stairs if not. So this is the upstairs. This is the closet that's shared between the two rooms, but it's actually like massive. Um, like I can stand in here if it weren't for this. So I think what we're gonna do um, is put a chest of drawers here and here because I didn't realize how big it was. So we could definitely fit one on either side, fit all of our stuff in there. This is our bedroom. So I think our bed's gonna go, the headboard will be on that wall facing this way. Might have a TV there. And then this whole area, I think I kind of want to make um, a little reading nook there, have some shelving, like short shelving there, something like that. It's my clothes. And then over here is going to be our gaming room. So Josh chose the larger side. So his gaming setup will be over here. And then mine is going to be on this side. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is have my desk here along this wall facing this way. I just feel like that's going to be the best option, especially with him on the other side. Like if I'm streaming or whatever, then he'd be in the background. So I don't want that. Um, so yeah, and there's, there's our backyard. <laughs> so very chaotic. Um, tour but I'm just I need to sit down I'm excited because it just it felt like it took so long for this to happen and now it's here and now it's like oh my god we're we're moving out together Josh is not as excited as I am but he's never um not lived with his parents other than one year in university so it's understandable. It's a big adjustment for him, but I've moved a lot in the past few years, so I'm excited to just have a house. And yeah. Okay, I need to get to unpacking. Maybe I'll do a time lapse just because I'm excited to take videos again. Um, yeah. Also, I'm leaving that heat on because I'm not paying for power today. Oh my god, this is a perfect. <gasps> I love this. Um, yeah, we're not paying for power today. We're not paying for it until it's under our name. So I am turning it the hell up. And I don't care if I sweat to death, at least it's not out of my pocket. So, where's my keys? I got our keys, those are Josh's. So. Here's our microwave. Well, actually, I shouldn't be unboxing the microwave first. I should be putting away dishes, but I'm not sure. I feel kind of guilty unpacking without Josh, but I got the keys a day early, so I decided to do as much as I could, and then it would be less overwhelming for him, for both of us, really. And yeah, so hopefully he's okay with where I choose to put things. Short shelf, isn't it? Um, can I move these? I just don't know about this. I'll show you. I just feel like that's quite awkward. There's a very tall one, really short one. Very tall. That one's decent. I don't really know. Let's see how I can pull them out, actually. Oh, oh my God, that's so easy. Oh, this is fun. I can customize the shelving. Okay, so I feel like this should be plates and bowls because it's the widest. 
yeah, it's the widest cupboard. So let's. Why is it not coming out? Get. Got it. Okay. That seems better. Now they're like almost equally divided, except this one's taller. But that's fine because I can use that for like tall cups and baking stuff. I don't know. We'll see. That one's fine. Let's see. This one's like. Oh. Lots of burner liners. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in there. Yeah, this one's nice. Maybe this one will be like a snack, a food one. That would make sense. And then what about oh, this one? Hmm. That one's harder for me to reach. This one's definitely pots and pans. This one's got no separate shelving, but you could do some in there. Hmm. And then another one of those. And this is obviously utensils. Okay, lots of decisions to make, so. I'm gonna start unpacking my pots, pans, and mixing bowls. And then I might go back to my house for another load because I packed up all my regular dishes and other stuff. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to the packing of my car, but unloading it into the house is exciting. So anyways, I'm gonna go get to work so it's now well it's dark out but it's about six o'clock i think and i just brought my third car load of stuff which i'm quite proud of i did this all by myself and i got three car loads done in one day so i think that's pretty productive and i've unpacked stuff like let's see what have i unpacked well, our bathroom's basically set up. I've got shower curtain, I bought that, and I've got towels. I didn't put them in there, I put them right there, haha. <laughs> um, stuff and stuff and um, yeah, so. I've got dishes, so I might as well unpack those. This is Josh's shirt that fell in the driveway. It smells like him. This is super unhelpful because I'm not even filming myself. Oh, leaving lights on, Jesus Christ. I'm pretty sure the power is now under our name. So we are paying for the power. Oh, this was an ordeal earlier. I built that. I went to Canadian Tire and got this shelf because it was on sale. It's a pretty good deal, but there's a reason why it was a good deal. It's a fucking, the most terrible thing to put together and to take apart because I put it all together outside of the closet like an idiot and then had to, <laughs> there's like, black scuff marks on the wall because I was shoving it against the wall so hard. I was so mad that I had to take it all apart um, because I had to put it together inside the closet because it was too big to squeeze in. Anyways, um, that was a kerfuffle. And then it gave me, oh wow, it's really starting to show up. I don't know if you can see that in this lighting, but I have a nasty, very tender bruise from getting angry and slamming on it. it pinched me back, so yeah, that was not fun, but alas, we are alive. I can't really, there's no good spot for me to, wait. 
I don't like being alone right now, so I'm gonna film and talk to myself. So it seems like I'm not alone. This is gonna have to go on the floor. Okay, so I've got some plastic bowls in here, but I feel like there's not gonna be enough cupboard space if I keep them in there. We'll see. I got a milk frother too, because it was on sale. So I'm really excited to use that. And I got this, my Starbucks point. Whoa. Look at that. It lifts, it lifts up. That's fun. Cool. <laughs> Just playing, playing around. I feel like this might be like a snack cupboard because we do have the pantry, but it's nice to have a little thing in the doodle. Thinking about how I'm gonna organize all this stuff is just Stressful. Okay, I mean, there's not much else that I should really do tonight. Yeah, I should go home before I scare myself too much. And... That's my Christmas tree. I was really, really ex excited upon moving in that I would be allowed to have a real Christmas tree. So I was like hell bent on getting one as soon as we moved in, but everybody's right. It's gonna be too much and there's no sense in wasting the money on it this year when I have a fake tree and it's only gonna be Christmas for 10 days. <sighs> what the fuck is that? Oh my God. Anyways, see you bright and early tomorrow for the big day. I hope they're not mad at all my stuff that's already here. Okay, I need to leave. Your choices suck. <laughs> just, I literally just opened this. And Percy is now home. Hi. Where are you? Oh my goodness, it's so strange, huh? Josh is bringing in groceries. It's okay. It's okay. Let's get out of his way, bud. Oh, what's in there? Oh my God, stop it. Oh, hi, Percy. Are you happy? You happy, bud? Look at Josh over there. He said he's in fast mode, so I'm not allowed to intervene. <laughs> um, he's currently trying to get the Xbox set up so that we can watch a movie because somehow our internet connection worked as soon as I plugged it in. So far. So we'll see. You gonna be okay? House is, it's a disaster, but it's less of a disaster as before. Percy's adjusting, he discovered the carpet stairs mm -hmm. and I'm vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he thought it was a scratching post, so. Uh-oh, now he's trying to get up. Hey! You have a perching spot upstairs. I don't have a million updates. <clears throat> don't be so aggressive. He's dealt with enough. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Lean forward a boy. No. Look how scared he looks. Yeah, because you just grabbed it. Out of nowhere. 
Um, so do you open up your Star Wars advent calendar? I wasn't gonna. Oh. That would be fun. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's upside down. I know. Okay. It's upside down. Stop. Good morning. It's uh, quarter after eight, December 16th. Um, the morning after our first night in our new house. I did not sleep very well. I slept, well, I was in bed for like five hours total, I'd say. Um, and slept maybe three and a half, four of it. Um, it was just, I don't know. Percy was really like for most of the night until like 4 or 5 a.m. He was laying against me like my cats at home used to do like in the most inconvenient places in your leg so that you couldn't move and he's never like cuddly like that so he usually sleeps at the very foot of the bed and doesn't like let me touch him but he was sleeping against me all night. So it was like, it was hard to move around and I felt bad because <laughs> he was just adjusting and he still is and he was just so nervous. And then um, we come around four or five when he was getting up, he just meowed constantly. And I was like, I can't sleep and I know that it's gonna wake Josh up. So I'm just gonna get up cause he'll follow me downstairs and he won't meow anymore. So. That's what I did. I got up at like 5.30, I think. Um, and we went to bed at like 12. But anyways, yeah, I got up at 5.30. I unpacked boxes. I tidied up. I put the bookshelf together. I did the board game shelf, put all the board games in there, put some boxes down in the basement. Percy got his first taste of the basement because that's where I'm going to put his kitty litter box. Um, kind of freaked him out a little bit. There was like an hour where he was just staying in the basement like scream meowing. He was like, I don't know what's going on or what this place is. Um, anyways, so it was a very productive morning um, despite not being able to sleep and being absolutely pooped. I'm just to the point where it's like, there's so much that needs to be done. I'm over exhausted, but I can't sleep. So I might as well just keep going. Um, and then what else? I think after that, I just, I headed to the old apartment and grabbed as much stuff as I could. So my car is full. And it's a very snowy morning this morning. I'm stuck in like really bad traffic, which is why I'm vlogging. Um, you can see the snow up here. You can kind of see the snowy trees over there. Uh, it's gonna turn into rain though, which is kind of gross and shitty, but then at least we don't have to like shovel or anything. So it's just, it's rush hour traffic and it's snowing and it's, so it's very backed up but I'm hoping to get back to the house before Josh wakes up so that I can start making breakfast. We're gonna have bacon and eggs for our first morning at home. I was gonna stop and get a Starbucks because one of my friends is working right now and I really just wanted Starbucks, but that's gonna be dependent on the traffic because it's not that far out of the way, but it's where everybody's going to work. So the traffic's gonna be worse. Um, so I kind of just want to go straight home and see Percy. He's probably woken up Josh by now with his meowing because I left him. But, oh man. Yeah, last night was, um, fun. It was like, oh man, I got off work. I went to the house and see what I had pictured in my mind was December 15th was move-in day and we were both gonna have the whole day to move in and not have to, well, it would be stressful either way, but like not have to stress about rushing and getting everything done together. And then having McGriddles on our kitchen floor and just enjoying 
the box is everywhere and this is our first home together. However, I did not know that I picked up a shift, which is so unlike me to not keep perfect track of all of my shit anyways. I've complained a lot in the past 24 hours about how I didn't know about that shift and I felt so bad and I showed up late, whatever. So I worked 11 hours yesterday um, and I didn't get to do any of that with Josh. So him and his dad moved everything by themselves and I got off at 6.30. I went to the house, picked up Josh. We went and did our first grocery haul, came back, unpacked that, unpacked as much as of the boxes as we could, put on some tunes, um, and we did that until like 11.30, and then watched an episode, a Christmas episode of Family Guy on the couch, because we shockingly got our Wi-Fi set up, no problem. I love our internet company so much, but uh, yeah, we got that set up, so now we have Wi-Fi, and right now, I have my PC in the car and my desk is upstairs in the gaming room ready for me to set up my PC. The internet's ready. I'm pretty sure I have all the cords and oh my god I'm I just that was one part that I expected to be much more of a struggle. Now mind you I haven't actually gotten the items out of my car into the house plugged in all working so we'll see how that goes but I thought the trouble was gonna be with the Wi-Fi and having everything so that's nice I wish you could it's so very Christmassy I've been listening to Christmas music try not to hate my life with this traffic try not to fall asleep but like my body just doesn't want to sleep and it's a bit stressful because I still have to there's so much still at the apartment I have to get all of that out but then also deep clean like I have to deep clean everything i have stuff i have to scrape off the walls which is going to take forever mop like scrub every nook and cranny to get the safety deposit back and tomorrow is josh's birthday he works during the day so i might try and fucking grind it out i don't know how i'm gonna do that but i'm gonna try and grind it out then um and then saturday i have a 24-hour shift from 9 a.m saturday to 9 a.m sunday so, worst comes to worst, I'll be working on that on Sunday. I'd rather do it when Josh is working, so I'll try to do that. Anyways, I just haven't, I haven't vlogged in so long, and I really wanted to capture this very special time in both of our lives, and I haven't captured it that well. I mean, there's been a lot of talking, because I there's just so much to talk about but not a whole lot of like, I, I pictured cute little time lapses and montages of us moving stuff in and putting our little, we have this magnet picture um, that's like animated, but it's Josh and I and Percy and Banks around a Christmas scene. And I put that up on the fridge. I was picturing like a, a cute little scene of me doing that and, you know, twirling around with Josh in the living room it's just not the reality but we're happy the place is so cozy and cute um we were worried about space and like is everything gonna fit well and we still haven't gotten everything set up and in its rightful places however we do have more space than we were initially thinking for some reason i don't know but yeah I need to turn, I need to plug this, no, you can see the snow now. I need to plug this back in my phone so that I can read the map and see what the traffic update is, because I don't know if I'm going to be only at Starbucks, it's going to be really disappointing, but we do have a fuck ton of coffee at home, so there's literally no reason we can't make it there. I'm so thirsty, I drank all my water in here. Man, Christmas is in a week. That's fucked. Oh, hi. I thought that was a police officer. It is not. It is a fireman in one of those cars. 
I'm just gonna have to keep talking because and vlogging because I don't want to touch my phone and move it <laughs> and then there be a cop in this traffic somewhere who's gonna sniff me out oh, I can't believe how bad my sleep was last night I'm hoping I can find I have a curtain a curtain rod but I can't find the little whatchamacallits like the screws and everything I put them all in a baggie together so that I wouldn't lose them and they're in some fucking random box so I gotta find those because the light in our there's a lot of like street light in our that comes into our bedroom so I feel like that was a big part of why I couldn't sleep very well yeah I wonder what Josh is doing he hasn't texted me. I feel like he would text me if he woke up to be like, where are you? So. We're moving! Whoa! Oh, buddy, maybe we will get to go to Starbucks after all. It's a Christmas miracle. <clears throat> buckety, buck, buck, buckety, buck, buck, buckety, buck. I need to see if my dad's gonna come help us today. What else is there to talk about? I'm in a talking mood. I'm just overtired to the point where I can be productive and talkative. Which it could be worse. So, I'm so sweaty right now. I'm in a t-shirt and pajamas. I'm in what I wore to bed last night and also what I wore during the day yesterday. I am so excited to shower. Holy guacamole. It's going to be my first shower in this place. Hopefully... It's good. The water pressure in the kitchen is insane, so I'm excited to feel that on my scalp. Um, another thing that I'm nervous for is in a couple days when Banks moves in. Because Percy's already stressed the fuck out. Like, he's... Oh, man. But whenever, like, he calms down and purrs and, like, he's really... He's just really needy right now which totally understandable. He's just got his whole life uprooted, um, but he's handling it really well. I'm so proud of him. He's my son. He's my literal son. I kind of want to get into this lane. See, the thing is I could go to the Starbucks that's literally directly on the way and avoid a lot of traffic, but my friend's working at the other one. You know what? She probably isn't. She probably had to not come in because of the snow. I guess we'll make a logical decision today. This is the only one though. Mm. If Josh isn't up when I get back. Um, At the next light, turn left. Oh, Siri, okay. Um, anyway, I'm gonna set up the Christmas tree and then have it on for when he comes downstairs. He won't care about it, but I just think that would be a lovely way to wake up. So, okay, I'm gonna go now, because I'm gonna be at, uh, not winners, fucking Starbucks. Soon. Decorating the tree.
Hey. No, he put he, he said picture of you. Hmm. <laughs> Good morning. <coughs> um it is December twenty first. And hi, Percy. I look like garbage. I just woke up. But basically, we've been settling in pretty well. And like, look at the Christmas presents. And it's a little less messy in here. There's still like things everywhere. And I really need a dresser. So all of my clothes are still in bags upstairs. And our room is like the least finished just because we only sleep there. We have other rooms to be. Like that's that's the weird thing about moving out from an apartment where I had a roommate. Not like I couldn't like be out in the living room, but my space was my room. And this is all our space. Like this whole house is our space. And it's very exciting. So yeah, we've been spending a lot of time. I just had a cookie for my breakfast dessert. We've been spending a lot of time in our living room uh, watching TV and we baked, well I baked some cookies last night while we had um, Secret World of Santa Claus on which is one of our favorite childhood shows, a Christmas show and yeah it's been very nice. Um, in other news, uh, I'm self-isolating right now because the house that I worked at the other day, that youth tested positive for COVID. <laughs> so <clears throat> I don't have any symptoms as I cough, but that's just because it's early in the morning. I don't have any symptoms. Um, and I kept my distance because I knew that he was sick and I knew that he was waiting for results, but nobody told me that it was like this is a bit serious and I wasn't provided with PPE anyways so um but yeah I kept my distance and I wasn't around him that much so I'm really hoping that it's gonna be okay and my test isn't until tomorrow the 22nd and it's been taking an average of 72 hours for people to get their results back which means I may not get to go home for Christmas and I've been trying not to be upset about it because, well, Josh has just been, like, my rock throughout it all. He's just, he's been upset for me. And he's like, I can't believe they did this to you. Like, you shouldn't have had to work there, blah, blah, blah. Um, but then he's also like, you know what? If you don't get results back or if whatever happens, like, we have a home together. And we can have a Christmas together. Because he'll obviously have to self-isolate with me. Um, and, yeah, so... He's just been like reassuring me that it's good. It's not the end of the world. Like at least we live together and we can have each other, which has been totally like that means the world to me because if that weren't the case, I would not be okay. Um, and yeah, it really sucks thinking about not seeing my family because there's one day a year that I can see my entire family and that's Boxing Day. So... If that doesn't happen, I will be upset. I will throw many temper tantrums and it won't be cool. But anyways, so there's that. I'm just kind of chilling at home. I was supposed to work last night and tonight, like night shifts. Um, but I couldn't because it was with a different youth and I have to self isolate. So, um... Yeah, I'm very nervous. My dad dropped off rapid tests for me, and I've never done them before, and I'm kind of nervous. So I got to do those just to, like, they don't, like, I'm required to get a PCR test and go into a lab and do it. But just for my own comfortability, I want to have rapid tests to see what the results are. Um, yeah, so... What else? Oh, today, Banks is coming home. I'm actually really excited. Like, I'm obviously nervous because Banks is a little um, demon French bulldog. And um, 
I don't know if Percy's ever been around dogs and Banks, I think he has been around cats a couple times, but he's just a very like not well trained and full of anxiety and insane dog. So anyways, we're hoping that Percy puts him in his place because he's a cat and they usually do that, but we'll see. I'm just excited because I feel like Josh is going to be happy to have his dog here and it's going to feel like, okay, we're all here and one big happy family. But if Banks poops on any of my stuff or if he ruins this beautiful rug, I will be very upset. Okay, last night Josh and I decided to do um, like an early gift exchange, just one one gift because we don't want to do our whole Christmas until Christmas Eve, I think. But he got me. I'll show it because I am definitely going to play it today. He got me Mario Party Superstars. I've been so excited about that game. Like, it was one of the first things that I asked for for Christmas when I found out that it was coming out. Oh, look, my degree. So, yeah. Can you stop walking under my feet? Excuse me. Okay, what do I need to do? I'm going to set this against my sleigh. I should probably start editing. Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> I should probably start editing this video. Look at his little hands. He's getting closer, closer to my face. Like, mom, stop it. Um, yeah, maybe that's what I'll work on this morning. And I definitely need to do the dishes. They're piling up. Our sinks are very shallow. So we can't pile up as many dishes before doing them anymore. Um, which I guess is a good thing. And then, what else do I need to do? Oh, there's work stuff that I need to do. Um, I need to read my book because I asked for the fourth book in the series that I'm reading for Christmas, Throne of Glass, really good. I asked for the fourth book for Christmas and I'm on the second. So I need to get powering through that. And I also wanted to tidy up our bedroom a little bit. So let's go see how that's looking right now. Uh, what the fuck? Bitch, you just... Stop. Oh my God. You just attacked me. He didn't use claws. He, did, he rarely uses his claws on me, but... Um, he attacked me so all right so that's josh's dresser he's got his clothes nice and sorted but that's the state of things um honestly it's not that bad it's just stuff scattered along the floor and our bed is like tucked in there um and i'm thinking of moving it because it's horizontal moving it vertical that way in the middle of that wall just so that we both have like space to get out of the bed on both sides and we don't intend on getting a bed frame anytime soon because we actually kind of like it being on the floor makes no difference and we don't have to pay money for a new bed frame and the lighting is fucking <sighs> anyways um, this is the closet situation where all my clothes are just in bags. And this, that's Josh's side. And that's my side. I still have, um, things to put away in this shelf and kind of organize it. Um, but I think it looks pretty cute. And there's a Christmas tree. <clears throat> So, oh my god, 
These need to go on the tree because they're a little. Look how cute. Oh my god. We got this plant. I want this downstairs, so I'm going to take that down. Um, for the blooms. Okay, that's just a box. Oh, this is from my aunt. It's a very meaningful piece of pottery that I think my grandfather got when he was somewhere like Italy, I want to say. I don't quite remember. The letter's inside here, but I'm not going to take it out. So I'll put him there. I'll look at my Animal Crossing cushion. Okay. Well, I'm going to, how did I transfer my files from my phone before? Because I need to put all these clips onto this computer to edit them. And I don't really know how that's going to happen. Okay, I need to find, where's my charging cord? fucking mess I'm making a lot more work for myself with this editing because I completely do not have to be vlogging right now like there's no no reason but I can't turn it off so I feel like it's comforting it's always comforting for me to talk to myself I always have um but especially living alone in a house in a uh a different neighborhood we'll say um it's just it's comforting to feel like somebody's here that i'm talking to and josh is at work but it's fine you know okay um shot cut that's what i edit with because it's free okay i need to go find a charger and, and plug this in and stop but <laughs> oh I'll talk to you later. I look fucking disgusting. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. It's lunchtime and Josh is showering. He just got home from work. And we're gonna be going to his parents' house um after we have some lunch and i'm gonna stay there until supper time and then i'm gonna go pick up my brother we're gonna pick up chinese food and then i'm going to my parents house for christmas eve christmas morning and then i work tomorrow night so it's very busy but i'm excited to just hang out with some family and give people gifts because i actually got gifts for people this year which is super exciting. Also, the house is like, look at this new coffee table. It's just feeling so cozy and so much more like home because things are getting put away. Um, I finally have <clears throat> a dresser in the closet and all of my clothes are put away and we can actually go into the closet now. So basically, the main stuff that is left to do is just all the stuff that needs to be hung on walls because we need specific screws that I can't find anywhere. Um, so yeah, just shelving and curtain rods and stuff. So that's why there's still like things scattered around like this big thing. But other than that, it's like, it's home now. And I love it. I love it so much. I'm so happy that we have a house. And it's just, oh, it's so nice. So, I just wanted to make a little Christmas vlog because I did it last year and I wasn't going to. And I'm really glad that I did. I rewatched it recently. <clears throat> and I just love, I love watching Christmas things. So, that's what I'm going to do. We've got 
Christmas presents in that bag to go to Josh's parents' house. And yeah. Right, Percy? You're so cute! <laughs> I don't have any adventure that did anything unexpected. Until the grown. Did Daddy make any white rolls? Hello, so it is um, December 28th and I'm just editing this video on my phone in iMovie because I couldn't get my files imported onto my computer for some reason. I don't know if it's the charging cord that I was using. I, I feel like it was. That's the reason why, but I also just haven't had time. So I decided to just pop all of the clips into iMovie and then cut some bits out but it's barely edited and so it's super long I don't even know if it's gonna upload from my phone we'll see um if not it's here for me to watch I guess so I as I was editing it I realized I didn't mention that I had gotten a negative test before Christmas so that's obviously why I was able to go home for Christmas and it was fine um they didn't have COVID um and luckily I have <clears throat> my mom has rapid tests so when I went home I took a couple rapid tests and yeah um fuck I got these for Christmas they're Hogwarts earrings and they're so cute. I got other things for Christmas. Maybe I'll do a haul. But I also put most of my stuff away. So I don't know if I'm going to even remember what I got. Um, what was the other update I was going to give? Uh, we had a nice Christmas. And I forgot to take literally any video clips of anything. Um... It just all felt kind of rushed just because in the process of moving as well as having to work the surrounding days of Christmas. I worked a night shift on Christmas Day and then I had to work yesterday, a 12 hour shift, so the 27th. I'm working today, I'm working tomorrow. Um, so I couldn't, there wasn't like a period where I could just go home and stay there. It was like I went there for the day, drove back, went to work, went back. So, um, yeah, I didn't really film anything. It was still really nice. Um, and we all got to be together. We did our annual contest. So this year it was Lego building again. And Oliver and I won most creative. So that was pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it's just been lovely. I'm um working tonight I'm nannying so I'm really excited to see those boys um what else Percy's being a little shite uh Banks didn't end up coming home I kept saying oh I'm so excited Banks is coming home tonight and then he just didn't <laughs> um mostly because I want to say mostly because of Josh's dad didn't want to let him go, um, wasn't ready, but it's nice because while Josh is at work, he drops him off at the house, so, like, it, they'll still get to see each other, and Banks won't be here alone with Percy until we know that we're, like, they're safe, so that's nice, Bank or Percy's been, um, alone with me all day, so that's wonderful, and... Oh, I took the Christmas tree down. So it feels a little less cluttered in here. I'm trying to clean because my birthday is in two days and I'm hopefully having family over for that. And uh, yeah, I think I might actually hang some, bless you. I might hang some stuff up. Anyways, I, this was supposed to be an outro for this hour long video from me moving. And now I'm just updating on my regular life, which is not what this is supposed to be so that was great um we're doing great and merry christmas happy holidays maybe i'll start vlogging again who knows <laughs>